things, of course, is to avoid high blood pressure, diabetes, other conditions which compromise the circulation to the brain. That's perhaps the most powerful thing we can do. Not smoke is another good example, not get obese. Well, if you practice with memory, there are ways of sustaining it and certainly learning new vocabularies, learning new opportunities like musical instruments or a new language. All of those things seem to help in building better memory and better intellectual functioning with age. Well, the promise of science is that at the most basic level, studies that are underway to understand the differences between past memory and its maintenance and new memories, because new memories, when they come in, have to register. And when they register, they then get put into a retrieval system. So we're beginning to learn more about exactly what does happen in memory through a scientific point of view. From the practical point of view, as I've already said, the most important is to exercise that brain and take on new challenges. By and large, drugs have not been, if anything, they tend to be negative towards the brain. Most drugs that are on the market, unfortunately. Now, an antihypertensive medication that prevents you from getting strokes is certainly preventive of brain damage. And there are drugs, several, that are available if you already have Alzheimer's disease that will help a little, but only for a short amount of time. So there's no promising drug that I'm aware of that really will achieve the result of an increased brain function. Mm -hmm.